I could make everyone happy, but I won't. Because <laughs> I'm evil. But only one person can win. So filters that equal the source, which is the guy who sent me this. Give him a new. I'm just going to call it. Oh uh, wait, I can just use the message handler. The message. What did I fucking know? I played that one. Uh, network message. I'm just going to send him a string saying one or something. Network message. Uh, one. No, uh, I'm going to need to test this so I'll make it as small as possible. Just I'll just say W. What do I want to do? And I'm going to broadcast to everyone else that they suck. Filters dot not eat. Damn it. Filters dot not not equal to source. New network message. Who's lost? Okay. So back to the client. Oh no, actually, I need to, need to change this. So my network message is going to be different. So I'm going to say if message dot get message dot equals one, then I'm going to I just create. Oh no, actually, I can change the change of frames to second text. Oh, it's all courtesy that I got rid of. Marva. Mm. Um. Hey, what am I doing? What am I doing? I'll just create a new new HUD text for this. I'll just add it here. Drag over the HUD text. Detach your children. Also, to change the file that we Just add some text here. And I won't add that yet. I need to in, I need to enqueue that. I'll do that in a sec. So hello text. Maybe I just need this. Got nothing. Let me say set text. I need to enqueue all of this actually. What else? I'll just send the rest. Text. Oops. And I'm just doing it so it's a bit easier.
Display text. Set text. Set text. And now we'll enqueue both of these changes. Current name. Don't miss. Enqueue. Callable. Make that set final. Oh, oh that's put me in a pickle, hasn't it? I wonder if I don't need to do that. Because I haven't attached it to the scene graph yet, so I don't think that will cause me issues. It's fucked up quite a bit, isn't it? I had an extra semicolon in there, shouldn't I? Okay. I think that's. Wait a second, let me change that in there separately. We need to use server name. Seem to have that okay. With my client. Seems to be okay. As far as I can tell, I'm just going to open a few more. This should be really difficult. No, it's moving too fast for me. I'm not going to be able to do it. So, oh, typed it. With my text. Uh, Where's my text in position? Is that location get my name? Yes. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, Oh, I never had, had a message handler. Message listener, new message handler. Let's try it. Close the server down. Open it. Open my client. Damn it. Yes! Oh man, honestly, it's moving way too fast for me. I'm so jittery. Greater than greater than one second. Yeah, that should be slow enough for me. So we create okay, create the server again. One client, create two clients, create three clients. I just realised that the screen is quite small, so well, I'm recording quite small, so I've probably moved them too far out for you guys. Sorry. Um, luckily, I'm only moving it on the right side of the screen. So do I did positive X, Y, and Z locations. Okay, let's try it. 
Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Well, there you go, the first networking game. So, and if you wanted to, for instance, have the server in one place and clients in a different place, and you wanted um, to run your own server from your own house, you have to look up port forwarding, which if you remember from the beginning, you have a router, which uh, kind of hides your IP address, so you want some people to connect to your direct uh, computer in the router, uh, in the router's like local area network, so you have to forward, you have to forward the port in which your server program is running, so ours is 6000, so you have to go into your router settings, normally you can do that by typing in the default gateway um, address into a browser, and then you can configure it that way to send TCP and UDP ports uh, to your computer. And there you go. Okay, I think uh, you've probably had enough from me for now, so I'll let you go and enjoy programming the next best MMO.